Good morning, Titans. Today is Wednesday, April 18th, and you're here with your host, Jackson. But enough monkeying around. Please rise for your national anthem. start with a little story. Last weekend my four-year-old son participated in a figure skating carnival. He was very excited for it. He had dress rehearsal, he was practiced, he was ready to go. Knowing his skates were a little dull, I, um, I had my husband use a device that a lot of hockey players use in between sharpenings to just kind of touch up their skates. So I had him do that to my son's skates. Well the sharpening didn't really work that well and we knew this because when carnival started the show started my, the poor guy couldn't stand up for more than a couple steps at a time. So he kept falling, he kept getting back up repeatedly um, and quickly, but then he would take a few steps and fall again. His friends started passing him and he just kept falling and getting back up. After falling what seemed to be probably about the 25th time, um, he stood up and reached for his instructor and he finished the show waving to the crowd and beaming with a smile. Sometimes life isn't easy. We all know that high school is not always easy. Sometimes it feels like we keep falling and having to get back up. Sometimes it even feels like we keep getting pushed down. We don't always know why we keep falling. Sometimes it isn't even our fault why we keep falling. Sometimes it seems like everyone else just keeps easily skating by us and we just are the only ones who seem to keep falling. But guys, it is so, so important that you keep getting up and trying again. And sometimes when we feel like we're repeatedly getting up, sometimes we need to reach out our hand to our own instructor, to God. He's always there waiting to listen. Um, we just have to ask for it. He wants to celebrate our triumphs and he wants to help us through our trials. Um, so it is with this in our thoughts um, that we pray together for strength and support from each other and from God. So let's say the Lord's Prayer together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Cheer auditions are tonight. Be in the gym at 3.15 p.m. to register so auditions can begin at 3.30 sharp. Interested in learning how to fix your bike, trike, quad, or small engine? If the answer is yes, then sign up for the Small Engine and Recreational Equipment Summer School course. Earn a high school credit and a college credit in the first two weeks of July. Spots are filling up fast, so get your registration form from Mr. Chernak today. And a quick message from the cafeteria. Come into the caf and enjoy our delicious Italian pizza wrap special. Thank you, and we appreciate your business. That's all from us. Now over to the co-president candidates. Hello students and staff of Holy Trinity. As some of you already know, my name is Hannah Long and I am running to be your student council co-president for the 2018-2019 school year. The role of student council president is to represent you, your voice, and what you want for this school. I am determined to give each and every one of you the recognition you deserve because I believe every victory should be recognized, whether it's sports, the arts, or any other club here at HD. I'm not going to make empty promises like more PA days, longer lunch hours, or shorter school day hours because those decisions aren't up to me. So let me promise you this. I will lead Holy Trinity with a spirit of enthusiasm that is both caring and kind. These are the qualities that I was raised with and a promise that I can follow through with. 
I was raised to be kind. I was raised to be empathetic and considerate of others. I was raised to treat others with respect, dignity, and equality. I was raised to make others feel like they had a voice and a say and to speak up for what I believe in. And I believe in you. I believe in you as a student body, that if you put your trust in me to do what's right for you and this school, the 2018-2019 school year will be a memorable one. I believe that if you allow me to be your voice for what you want here at Holy Trinity, you will be rewarded with great results. I have been a committed member of HT Student Council since my very first year of grade nine here at Holy Trinity. Since that day, I have done everything I can to give you the voice you deserve, and that's exactly what I plan to continue doing until my very last day here. I want to dedicate my last year here at Holy Trinity to do right by you, and to give you the opportunities to have a say in your years here, just as I have had a say in mine. In just grade nine, I was chosen to go to a leadership conference in London. I have taken many leadership roles within the school, including helping organize color nights, being the backstage manager of our annual coffee house for the past two years, directing tours during our grade eight orientation nights, and helping with school assemblies. I have been developing leadership skills since grade nine, and I feel I am more than qualified to lead you. I'll be a positive leader, one you can come to with questions, concerns, and ideas that I will listen to with an open mind. If you elect me as next year's co-president, I promise I will be your voice. I promise I will do everything in my power to make sure you have what you need to make your school year count, and I promise if you vote me, you won't regret it. I'm in it for the long run, pun intended. So let me represent you and vote Hannah. Welcome to Ellen. This Friday, our HT presidential election. With me is candidate Hannah Long, and here's why some students say vote for her. Hannah is very creative, honest, and empathetic. She is very selfless, inclusive, and always puts others before herself. Hannah is a great leader and inspires others with her positivity. She's very organized and takes initiative to do what's right. I've been on council with Hannah for three years, and she's a very hardworking, dedicated person, and she always has a smile on her face. Why do you think people should vote for you, Hannah? Because I'm in it for the long run. Well, there you have it, folks. Vote Hannah. Here's what's coming up next week on Ellen. Hey, Titans. My name is Allie Pracky. As you may or may not already know, this year I've decided to run for Student Council co president. Over the course of the past few weeks, I've been thinking a lot about how I'm going to make 943 students vote for me. Doing this, I realized something. I realized that I'm not really trying to prove anything. I'm not trying to prove that I'm better than the other candidates, nor am I better than anyone listening, because I'm not. I'm asking you to give me the opportunity to lead us to something greater, to be the leader in the change that we want to see in the school. We are together for five days a week from 8.55 till 2.55. That's close to 1,200 hours a year. I want to make those hours as enjoyable as possible. Sure, I can't get rid of homework or due dates, but I could do all in my power to make it a more positive, inviting, and inclusive community. I would hope to give all aspects of the school equal and important recognition. I would hope to give all the groups, sports, drama, music, academics, and all other clubs involved, all working together as one to make our events more enjoyable for all. Homecoming, for example. Not only could we have the football team play, but we could invite our cheerleaders on the sideline and invite the band to play before the game, as well as the Glee Club to sing our national anthem, followed by the dance organized by Students' Council and anyone else willing to help. Everyone always says they want to see changes or improvements. However, no one, no one ever wants to make them. I want to be the ear that listens to your suggestion, suggestions and the voice that makes them happen. I want to bring us closer as a whole to make us stronger as one, making the change that we want to see attainable. I have two years of Students' Council experience and I've been a part of numerous school sports teams and have helped out a number of extracurricular <laughs> members of the Let's go. I'm the job. Since grade nine, I have gone the extra mile to participate in as many aspects of the school as possible. If elected as president, I promise to put in the same effort and more. Vote for me. Okay. Let's go. I'm just wondering what your thoughts are on the upcoming elections. We're definitely going to vote for Ali. It's definitely Ali. Ali Paraki. Definitely Ali. Definitely voting for Ali. 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 Definitely Ali. She's a great leader. Dolabi. What are your thoughts on Ali Paraki? Well, she's very nice. She's a pretty good leader. 
She's really nice and smart. <laughs> she's really athletic and cool. Hey, yeah, she's very nice. And she's really funny. Brad and a really good leader. What was your reaction to Yoshi here right now? I'd freak out. Oh my god! It's <laughs> Ay! <laughs> Daddy, this is my Snapchat. <laughs> My name ends with the I, but I'm all about you.